I'm Tammy Proctor. I'm a professor of history. My specialty is 20th century European history, women's history, and I teach those subjects, but I also do research in those areas. And I've recently completed a book on the history of the Girl Scout movement worldwide for the 100th anniversary. Um, the Girl Guide movement, which is the original movement in Britain, started in 1909 and the Girl Scout movement in the United States began in 1912, so we're sort of between the two anniversaries right now, and the book marks the anniversary of the, um, the worldwide movement. Well, the Girl Guide movement started in kind of an interesting way. The, the Boy Scouts had already begun. Lord Main Powell, who was the, the founder of the Boy Scouts, had uh, started a series of rallies in Britain to celebrate the success he'd had already with the Boy Scouts. And in 1909, he had a, a rally at the Crystal Palace in London, and a group of girls showed up in makeshift uniforms with borrowed hats and staves, which are long staffs, and they demanded to be inspected next to the boys. And this demand is sort of a founding moment for the Girl Guides, and it becomes a, an important part of their identity, that the girls really wanted to shape the movement for themselves, and they wanted to demand uh, to have the same kinds of opportunities as the boys, not necessarily in the Boy Scouts, but um, it, some kind of a movement of their own. A lot of the material from the book can uh, be brought to bear on the kinds of things I talk about in my women's history classes, and, and really in my History of Britain courses as well. Uh, the book's called Scouting for Girls, and <laughs> it really kind of charts the, uh, the reasons why a very small movement for girls that was an offshoot of the Boy Scout movement was able to persevere, to grow, to become bigger than the Boy Scout movement in Britain, and uh, why it's still so vibrant today.